Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Mark Bennett here and today we're going to discuss reasons that drivers are getting upset. At least here at Swift and on the account that I'm on. So we just had it. It's, it's, and trucking is stressful to begin with. You're away from your family. You're you're stressed on whether your dispatcher and load planner is going to get you your miles so you, so you make the money that you think you deserve to make or that you should make just because you're away from your family. Um, the weather right now is making it a little stressful because of the rain and snow in some areas, the high winds. Low freight volume is you know stressing drivers out. Uh, it's also stressing the office employees out. But here's the thing, we just had this happen yesterday. A driver here on this account that I'm on was told that they would get a load from here going to Las Vegas, Nevada, and then down to Colton, California to pick up to come back. Now he told the load planner that he didn't get off his 34 hour restart till 10 a.m. These loads usually have to gate out at, from this Walmart DC by 5 a.m. I think 8 a.m. is the latest that you can gate out. She said that's fine, it's no big deal. She'll give it to him in the morning. The driver woke up this morning and all of a sudden he has an Idaho load, which is half the miles. And when he confront, when he goes in the office and confronts him about it, he's told, I'm sorry, I'm human, I made a mistake. And you know that that load has to leave earlier than what you could have left. Well, here's the thing. They knew he couldn't leave till 10 o'clock because one, it's in the computer, but two, he told them yesterday he couldn't leave till 10 o'clock this morning. So that's a bad excuse. The I'm human, I make mistakes. Okay, kind of. This wasn't the third time that you've done this exact same thing to that same driver. I'm real good friends with this driver, by the way. Um, and here's how you avoid that. You know, you tell the driver, okay, well, you're going to be right at 10 o'clock tomorrow. I'll do my best to get you uh, a Colton run, but it's supposed to leave sooner, so I'll, I'll, get, I'll do whatever I can to get you the most amount of miles to run within your time frame. Now the driver really has nothing to complain about. You told him you'd try to, you'd try to do a Colton, but because of when his hour's up, it probably won't happen. That's what they're asking for. But you, but you told him, hey, look, I'm going to do my best to get you as many miles as I can to go within your time frame of the, your hour restrictions, you know, so basically 11 hours because he had been starting fresh. Now you don't have a pissed off driver the next morning and he's not venting and wanting to quit and want, and leave. He's not mad at you and unwilling to help out with, you, you know, it just, it, it's, you may, right now in the transportation industry, for those of you who are new, it's, it's a volatile situation right now because we're at the beginning of the year. So freight slow. Freight should start picking up. In March, middle March, and freight the freight ought to pick up again. It's the same thing every year. You know, you got your mad rush for the end of the year. You know, the Christmas, New Year's, you know, Thanksgiving rushes for for product. Um, then you have the the slump at the beginning of the year, and then it all starts ramping up again. So you compound the stress of drivers you know, wondering whether they're gonna get their miles in so they can get a decent paycheck and justify being away from home. And you pile on top of that with telling the driver that you're gonna give them something that you know, because you've been working here for 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, whatever it is, whatever it is, and you know the gate out time hasn't changed, but you still tell them that you'll, you'll get them one of those loads. Uh, it just, it, it, it boggles my mind that you know what people will do and say to drivers to get us to be quiet or to so they don't have to deal with us just be honest with us we may not like the answer but be honest with us it's the same thing if I told you yeah I could do that load and I can make it on time and I wait till the last minute and I tell you oh by the way never mind I can't make that time I'm not gonna run today give it to somebody else as a load planner and a dispatcher you're not gonna be happy with me if I did that so why do it to us if I tell you I can make it on time, I'm going to make it on time. If I tell you I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it on time, and it doesn't matter why the reason is. It doesn't matter whether it's, doesn't matter whether I have the hours to make it on time. As a driver, if I tell you I may not make it on time, it may be because I don't feel good. 
I mean, you know, I could be tired. I didn't sleep good the night before. Uh, I, I got things that I have to also get done in my in my daily life as well. You know, so if I tell you I may not make it on time and you still give me that load, you can't, don't get mad at me over because I told you I may not. You still chose to dispatch me. On the flip side, as a driver, if, if a dispatcher or a load planner tells you that they're going to try to get you miles and they're unable to, don't get mad at them. They tried. They did what they said they were going to do. They tried. Now, let's reverse that to what happened yesterday. And it's happened multiple times here with this same load planner. But is don't tell someone, I'm going to give you this load. And then don't give them that load the next day. It's a, it's a simple fix. Instead of saying, hey, I'm going to put you on this load. Hey, I'm going to try to put you on this load. Words have meaning, people. That's part, part of the problem, not only with the trucking industry, but our society as a whole, as words have stopped having any real meaning unless they hurt your feelings. You know, and, and we got to get away from that. We got to get back to your words mean something. If you say you're going to do it, do it. If you don't think you're going to be able to do it, or there may be a possibility that you can't do it, say you'll try to do it. Because then you're not lying to someone. You're not defying their trust. You're not, you know, it, it just, I, I've i been a transportation manager. I've been a dispatcher. I've been a load, uh, a load planner and I've been a broker. Not once did I ever lie to a driver because not once did I tell them I will do something that I couldn't do. Now, have I upset drivers? Yes. Have I disappointed them? Because I told them I would try to do something and I was unable to do that. Ha but has that happened? Obviously, of course it has. I'm human, you know, but I've never told someone I would do something if I could, if I didn't know I could do it. Just because I'm not setting myself up to get yelled at, to get, well, I'm not setting myself up to get yelled at even though I have been yelled at, but I'm not setting myself up to be a liar either. Cause like I said, words mean something. Well, we're on a load right now. We're gonna do a little two stop load. Uh, we got two local. So if you're in an office, let's send this at Swift or any other major carrier, or even a small carrier, a mom and pops carrier, if you're watching this video, be mindful of the words that you use. Because you don't like it when we tell you we're gonna make it on time and we're late, whether it's our fault or not. It becomes a lie. Then you start using that, well, I can't trust that you'll deliver on time, so I have to, not, I can't give you the good run a bullshit line that you, that you guys give us. It's a two-way street. Don't lie to us, we won't lie to you, and the transportation industry, that would improve the transportation industry probably by 25%. I'd almost be willing to bet that driver retention rates would go up if people would stop lying to, to each other. And that's both ways, the driver lying to the low planners and the low planners and dispatchers lying to the drivers. We're all grown adults, tell the truth. Sorry for this little rant, I know it's a, this one's gonna be a short video, but I, I had to bring, I wanted to bring this to a light and let you know this is why drivers are upset out here. This is why drivers don't trust, don't trust low planners. The same reason that you give, you tell, you talk about drivers saying, well, they said they'd make it on time or they were late, but they didn't, they didn't communicate with us. You know, it's, it, it's a two way street. If we both clean up our acts, make your words mean something, the industry would be a lot better. And that's just a small step we could take to improve our industry that we're in. Please comment, like, and subscribe down below. 